this. The chop up hour. We in the building today with gravel. Hello. Huh? Gravel in the building. He blessed us with the opportunity to sit with him, man. This is some of his work right here, man. Huh? Crawfish. Come. Swim. Yeah, I said swim. <laughs> I said swim. Shrimp to the lanes, though. Gravel. Welcome to the show. What's Welcome, going on, brother. bro? Taking it easy, man. You know, one day at a time, you know. Most definitely. Most Two definitely. if needed, you know. Right, right, right. One right. day to, you know, to think, and the other day to work. Straight up, man. Yes, sir. Straight up, man. We're going to get right at it, man. I know where you're from, but the people don't, man. Where you from originally, though? Originally born yeah. or raised? Born and raised. Born, I was born in Louisiana. I was raised in Hollywood, Liberia, mm -hmm. Florida, not California. Shout out to Liberia, man. I want to ask you, man, I know you're on a personal level, so the yes, people sir. don't, but what got you into this here, man, this Glaver thing? And what, no, what is Glaver? Glaver? Glaver. Uh, actually, you, actually, you can pronounce it Glaver or Glavier. Or Glaver. Okay, Glavier. Well, you know, yeah, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, what got, in, what got me into the salad is one of my friends said, come. Okay. So one day he had approached me. He was like, man, Ron, you know how to cook. I don't know why you want to make no cook salad. Okay. So um, I thought about it, and I was like, Market is oversaturated, you know. With comp, it's, it's you would think a lot of people, people doing it. Comp. Yeah. So I never. I took about. It took me about a year. After a whole year went by, that's when I one day I just woke up one morning and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make some comp. And I got in the kitchen. And boom. Did it start with fried first, or you went straight to the comp straight salad? Straight to the salad. Straight to the salad. Yes, because you know I want. I want to feed you healthy. I don't want to put no grease in your body. Or I got you. I want to feed you healthy, so I just, you know. Said, you know what? Straight salads. Mm -hmm. No grease. I ain't frying nothing. I, I ain't fried food. I ain't got nothing against it. I get food. it. I get it. But if I want to give you something, if I sell you food, I want to sell you something that's healthy. Yeah, nutritious. Yeah. I get it. Hello. I get it. That's what it's about, though. That's what it's about, though, Ron. Yes, End of the day. So, let me ask you. I know you're mobile now, but how do you start it? Was it out the back of your trunk, or was you doing it like CDs and tapes back in the day, man, out the trunk or out the coolers or whatever? Before you got into the mobile side of it, I know you're in the mobile side of it now, but how did it start for you? How did it start? It actually started with a, a cooler and an Uber. Cooler and Uber? I, ain't, I didn't even have a vehicle at the point God when damn. I started selling the salads. Yeah. I used to catch an Uber from Overtown to Miami Gardens, where Kara City. Okay. And you know, I used, one of my partners, he owned a liquor store, he used to allow me to set up in front. So I used to have a table out there nicely decorated with the salads and stuff like that. Okay. And that's how I began. Okay. That's how many different varieties were you doing back then? When I started, I first started with just the conch and the vegetables. And that was about it. And as time went by, I started thinking about ceviche. Like the Spanish people, they do their salads with, they got, it's called ceviche, but they, you know, they got conch, fish, and all other type of seafood. In, embedded inside the comp octopus and stuff like that so that's what kind of like pushed me to like hey let me try to put some muscles in here and see what happens see how people respond to it right now if, if now i have certain people if i don't have muscles they don't even want my salad really yeah wow they don't even want salad man everybody don't you know i, I try i cater salad but i also cater to your taste but i want the glaber salad to taste how you think it should taste even though I got my own, you know, certain people like wrong man, do do what you do. Right. You feel me? And I'll let you know from there. Right. And uh, most people, a, a lot of people, I do what I do, they well, don't do nothing else to it. Some people add hey, this, put some more, yeah, put more hot sauce, put a little bit more season so that, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool because you're giving them an option. Yes. That's people a love option. Options, you love know? options, yeah. no doubt yeah. about it. So now I know you're at now, so how many different varieties you at to, to this day? How many different varieties, combinations? That you are offer six, six combinations. Yeah. Could you tell us the names of them? I have the Cajun Glaver. I have mussels. I have crab, salmon, and shrimp. Yes. Crab, crab, and shrimp. Mm -hmm. and what vegetables are uh, variety be in these uh, dishes? Particularly um, cucumbers. Okay. Green peppers and tomatoes. No onions. No onions. No onions. No onions. Okay, beautiful thing, man. I know it's pretty as hell, man. <laughs> I will say that. I can't wait to Hello. dig in, man. Can't wait to dig in. I mean, I hate you showed up with more, but I know you done sold out today. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But me and my man going to have to bust this down, and we're going to figure this thing out along the exactly. way. Exactly. Sharing this camera. Exactly. Yeah. That's what they tell me the way, you know? Yeah. Tell that to them women, though. But Hello. listen, 
that's another story for another show. We, hey, Glaver, though, so I'm calling it Glaver, but you saying Glaver. Yes, Glaver, Glaver, you can pronounce it the way, what, what makes you feel comfortable? How you came up with the name? <laughs> it's funny. Because that sounds unique, up, man. It's funny how I came up with the name. Okay, I'm going to tell you how I came up with the name. A guy was on social media looking for a conk salad one day. Okay. And a girl that I know, she tagged me on his post. So when he seen my name, he communicated with me. He, hey, you know, I want to purchase. So I meet up with him. So as I'm making the salad for him, I put my, my, my you know, my seasonings and my juice and stuff like that. So the juice, when I pour the juice in there, he asked me, what is it? Mm -hmm. He was one of those person that asked a lot of questions. He wanted to know what's going on. So I'm like, oh, that's my secret weapon, my, you know, my special blend of citrus and stuff like that. So um, moving forward, he bought the salad or mm -hmm. whatever. I, I told him it was my secret weapon, mm -hmm. the juice that I was pouring inside the, the salad. Right. So as time moved forward, you later on, you know, I, he, I noticed he posted my salad on social media. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to him and asked him, you know, what did he think about it? Right. Whatever, did he like it? So right. he responded back and like, that's an understatement. He was like, I loved it. It had a lot of glaver. So, so, <laughs> so as I'm reading, so I'm like, glaver, like, what is, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is he talking about? I didn't, never seen the word, never heard of it. So, you know, Google before it. I reached out, I'm Googling. Yeah, you Google it. Is it Spanish? So I couldn't find a definition. Mm -hmm. So I reached back out here, man, hey, what is, what is glaver, you know? And he wrote me back. He was like, bro, I, I didn't try to write that, you know, the phone. He said, I meant to say that it had a lot of flavor. Ah. And then next thing you know, he said, hey, bro, you know what's up? He said, that's what you should call the juice that you pour into the salad. Instead of calling it your secret weapon, you should call it glaver. So it happened that's on how a mistake. Is. Yeah. I took a mistake and capitalized. Also. Capitalized. Exactly. I've been seeing it all over social media, man. No, this is my first wow. time actually getting the cup, bro. Because wow. I haven't bought into you on the street to wow. get one. I but it's my first time I'm gonna be able to taste you all. Yeah, I yeah. You, you, you glaver sauce. Yes, sir. Beautiful thing, man. Beautiful thing. Wow. That's how it came to be glaver, huh? Yes, sir. They have a unique name. It's definitely unique. It kind of fits too, though. I gotta yeah. call it what it is. You it call it what fits. It is. Yeah, I gotta it call it. It's, it's just a name that kind of goes along with what you got going right. on. You know what I mean? I didn't see your social media putting this glaver juice on yes, on, on your uh, uh, seafood right. uh, medley. medley. We're gonna call it the medley. Medley. Hello. You spoke about crawfish a minute ago, man. You yes, put sir. A you off of crawfish as well? Yes, of course. That yeah. Cajun glaver, man. Cajun glaver. What? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they call them baby lobsters. Baby lobsters. Yeah. And you cook them before you prepare them before you put them inside yes, them? Yes, no head, no, you know, all that stuff. Just the body, just the tail. Just the, just the meat. Just the meat. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Man, that's something different up, bro. I ain't, I ain't never even ate a crawfish in my life. No? Not once. Wow. You know what I mean? But that's come back to your background. That's your heritage, pretty much. You said, yeah. what you say, Louisiana a minute ago? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. So it's already embedded. Yeah, my mom it's cooked a lot like of, you know, New Orleans style food, dirty rice and gumbo, stuff mm. like that. Yes, that's definitely not my area, you know? Beautiful thing, dog. Red beans and rice, you know? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. It's embedded. Yes, yes. It's embedded. How long you been doing it? Uh, actually, uh, probably around three years now. Yes, three years. Approximately now. three years. Okay. Did it start out in the mason jar? Or did no. it plastic cup? Plastic cup. Okay. Started off with like eight dollar cups. Eight dollar cup. Yeah. What's something like this? It'll go for twenty. Twenty bucks. Yes, sir. That ain't bad, man. That ain't bad. The jar alone, man. Them jars are expensive. Yes. They expensive, so who you ever thought about putting a logo on them down the line? Or? I thought about that, but I'm not really into no rush. But yes, that's definitely something gonna play, you know. Or maybe even the cap. A cap. Maybe yes, even the cap, top. special cap, did signature you, cap. The spoon. Did you see the spoon? I didn't. Yeah. Grab it for me, Rome, right quick. I didn't see it. Spoon. I hey, had man. Them. Beautiful thing. Yes. Beautiful yes. thing. Okay. The glaber spoon. The glaber spoon. Yeah. There it is. You got the logos yeah, yeah. on there. They got a number on there too. Exactly. Y'all see what it is. Yes. He's doing his thing. Great. Working, man. Entrepreneur, man. Beautiful thing, man. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> but um, man, you say all concoctions. So I, I personally want to taste this uh this crawfish one now that you just spoke about it. I got it definitely next week. I guess yes. we, how often how many days a week you doing this? Seven. Airport Se hours. Airport hours. Seven. Sunday through Sunday. So the phone just rang. Yes. Rain, rain, rain. Yeah. You cater parties? 
Mm, sort of, kind of. I mean, I haven't advertised it, but I do cater to certain events. People call me, hey, my family is coming in town, you know, pull up. Yeah, okay. definitely. But, you know, as I go, I'm still, like, in transition. You know, a lot of people see me and they, oh, no, he got it going on. But they on the outside looking to what I got going on. But it, to me, it's bigger than what they, what everybody else see. I got you. You know, sometimes I like, you know, I, I need to do more. I need to do more. But a lot of people are like, man, you doing it. You doing it wrong. And I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, right. Man, I'm but I see bigger. You know I, no doubt yeah. about it. Yeah, I see bigger. Yeah. Man, reinventing yeah. yourself all the time, man. So we say seven days a week, you hustle. How many of these things you go through on a weekend, man? I ain't trying to get in your business, man. But the people want to know, man, from the chop up hour. I was I'm, lost count. I can't keep. Um, how many you leave the house with when you go when you get on before you get on the road? On you the try average to, day, I probably come out with probably maybe like forty. Mm. Yeah, forty. Ain't no bad petition. <laughs> but uh those are great nipples. <laughs> those are great nipples. I ain't gonna even lie. Yeah. But I guess people ain't really thinking about what it costs you for the product though. No. The product probably costs you a little more because I know yeah. not things that changed with this corona and everybody oh, claiming they ain't no. got this and came and ain't got yeah. that. I was actually talking to GNS Food uh recently and he was mm. telling me they went up on uh they went up on his uh chicken wings even chicken wings that probably went through the roof he was telling they charge a yeah. boy for a case of chicken wings these days so yeah, with the that, price is tremendous the price done went up a right. lot right oh my god i'm where talking you, about horribly where you purchase a lot of your product from miami miami mm -hmm. like 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 warehouses and things of that nature i have you know people that you know do certain things like for us you know bringing the comp back you know it's like you know with the food business it's gonna always be here, there, here, there, here, there. Okay. You you gonna all, anytime you dealing with food, you are gonna be running around in circles. Cause this place got this, this place got that, this place got that. It's just it's always like that. You had to buy. You can never reasons. get everything in that one location. I got you. Never yeah, ain't no one stop shop. Yeah, ain't no one stop. You gonna have to go over here, over here, over here, over here. Oh, yeah, there. right, yeah. right. You buy certain product from Restaurant Depot. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, no yes, doubt. Definitely. No yeah. doubt. Damn, man. Hey, man, we wish you nothing but the best, man, and prosperity, man, in this yeah. game here, because I already know the food game is a difficult game, which a lot of people don't understand. Cause of, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, especially if you're prospering from it, it's a yeah. definitely a good move. Yeah. Man, so we, I, you spoke just now about you uh, it's way bigger. You, you seeing your business being way bigger than what people might vision it to be. Right. What, you, what, what direction are you trying to go in? Restaurant? Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, definitely. I need that. I need to be stationary because I have a problem with, you know, trying to cater to everybody because it's like people know about Glaver from Homestead all the way back to West Palm Beach. Okay. So I have people calling me periodically every day. I get a call every day. It ain't a day that go by that I don't get a call. But, you know, sometimes like, you know, I want to be able to cater to everybody in, you know, in the area, okay. you know what I'm saying. So I, I need you. some somewhere stationary. Well, if I'm out, cause I like to the roam around. I got you. You know, I like to move. You know, so I, got you. I want something stationary. So if I'm happen to be in Georgia, say, you know, right, they can they know where to go get it at. You got know, you. like like I wanted to go to the classic or whatnot, but then I knew a lot of my people, you know, it was gonna be calling, so I didn't go. But if I had like a foundation or whatever, already here set up, mm -hmm. I can go out and venture and explore other areas. And that's what it's about. You know, that's why a lot of people business, you know, don't prosper because they get stuck. Stagnant. Trying to, hello, I love that word, stagnant. stagnant. They, yeah. Get, yeah. they get stagnated and trying to, you know, it's people everywhere. Yeah. God say, have yeah. I made this earth plenty for, plenty for enough for you? Get up. It's enough for everybody. Move around. It's exactly. enough for everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's what people don't understand in life, bro. It's enough for everybody to eat. So why motherfucking uh, pigeonhole and exactly. hate and all that exactly. old wild yeah, stuff, man? Nice. Shout out to Cute Catering, too. I know she do the Q same catering. thing. Q oh, catering. wow. She actually inboxed me today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she, she, I spoke with her. I haven't had a chance to try any of food. Just as yet, but I was looking at her little turkey burger or whatever. But yeah, yeah, she got I a turkey to, burger. I, I want to go. She said she was busy this Thanksgiving weekend. So. She actually makes con salad too, though, wrong. Yeah, she does yes, a con I salad too. I done had it a few times. She was on the show too. Right. A couple of them, she last year sometimes she bought a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, different 
varieties. Right. Like you said, you do very different varieties. She bought different varieties of corn salads and things of that nature. And I think she just recently got into the turkey. Yeah. Man, I love it, man. You love it? I love I love what y'all doing in general. Yes. Y'all pushing the envelope, man. Showing other That's people that they about. can do it too. Of course. Take off. Take off. Yes. People that been dreaming on they had dreaming to put their dream to bed and thinking they can't create and be yeah, right. and be prosperous and, and whatever they trying to do. Man, I tell you, bro. You're right about that. I like that you brought that up. Man. Because hey. I have a lot of phone calls sometimes. People telling me, man, you know you inspired me. And I'm like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, wow. The little things, You bro. never know. You, you, you never don't know. know. Yeah, you and know. always, I, I I take it like this. is somebody always watching. And somebody always watching. You know what I mean? There's somebody always watching, bro. Yeah. They claim they don't watch. They might not hit that button <laughs> and let you know they're there. But they, they see. They see. They see. Yeah. Whether all their words is kind or on some hatred shit. They watch. They watch. Yeah, they watch. Yeah. It's motivation to somebody. Yeah. Shout out to Isha Black too, man. I see she doing her thing too. Yes, I support you. Shout out me too. Shout out to Isha Black. I've been trying to get you on the show, man. Come fuck with me, man. You see I got Glava in the building. Hell no. Hey man. Well, hey man, how they can find you on social media, man? How they can locate Social media, I'm uh on Facebook. I'm at Rome Hustle Crow. On Instagram, I'm Rome Crow. I'm on on um both of the social media uh Outlets. IG. Instagram. Uh, Glaver Chef RG. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yes. Man, hey, anything else you want to leave us with, man, for you? Uh... I mean, other than that, I mean, you touch bases on a lot of good things. I mean, I think you pinpointed and covered a lot of the ground. Yeah, you know, like that. We just try to let the people know you out here. Yeah, exactly. You That's out here. You active, about. man. And hopefully this, uh, this, uh, bit, uh, Stay active. Y'all heard what he said. Hello. Glavel. <laughs> the chopper power. Glavel. I'm a fat man. And Glaver, nigga. He heard he said Glaver, nigga. Glaver, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what it is, man. This is Chop Up Out. Yeah. Hey, Rome, man. Thank you for fucking Most with me definitely. tonight. I appreciate you blessing Most us. Definitely. With a yeah. cup of this magic. Anytime. And we can't wait to dig in. And I got to catch up with you in the future. I want to try the crawfish. Yes. So when you ever get a chance, man, you got my number, man. Most Hit definitely. me up. Where, where are you? Well, I know you say from Homestead to Palm Beach. My primary, um, the area what, that I'm in, like most, is like I would say if I had to like pinpoint Fort Lauderdale, but it varies, man. I could be anywhere. Carver Ranch is out of there. Okay. Carol City, Old Town, Liberty City, uh, Miramar, okay. Pines. I'm okay. like pretty much everywhere, but I'm mobile. But I, you know, I'm I'm, I'm mainly in the Broward area. I, I probably have more hours in the Broward area than anywhere else. Okay. Yes. I'm going to get a picture off your idea of your truck, man. So we're going to put that on your interview. Of course, do that. And uh, that way people know when they see the truck or see the logo, yes. they know what it is, man. Yes, sir. We appreciate you. Most definitely. I appreciate hey, you guys. Anytime you want to come through, man, you're moving a new product, you know, I'll introduce the people to something new, different that you yes. want to talk about, man. The door is open. Okay. All right. I, I definitely appreciate that. Hey, love. Hello. Yeah, love. <laughs> it's the chop up I want fat, man. We got Glabber himself in the building, man. Y'all chuck, y'all fuck with him, man. He fucks with us, man. Yes. Huh? Y'all tap in, like, oh, share, subscribe. Y'all go ahead and tap into my nigga page too, man. He doing his thing, man. Yeah, definitely. Fuck with us. The chop up I want fat, man. We got Glavel. Yo.